in the Arctic Ocean. And it was until now I was completely oblivious to the fact that Frozen could look rugged. The South Pole has become the Earth's stomach, and it has been starved out until all it is is a hollowed out icicle. The boots on my toes are statues that are crushing into the tops of polar ice caps. And my cheeks are cinnamon swirls as the icebergs surrounding me notice a standing life and begin to creak in confession of their regrets in desperation. My body, my being becomes their temple, becomes their prayer beds as they beg for atonement for the wind that made them dance into the Titanic 101 years ago. They ask for forgiveness for the sun that forced their children to melt into the water that hit them like a thousand arrowheads. The marrow in my bones freezes with grief because I cannot help a land that speaks with despair. I am not a priest. I am not a psychiatrist. I am barely a whole human being. I am in the Arctic Ocean, thousands of miles away from my home in the desert because a fortune teller told me that I would find my own forgiveness, that I've been looking for since I was 10 years old in a land where I would know nothing but the winter. I packed so many of my regrets in my backpack underneath the change of clothes. I was hoping to crash them into the ice. I was hoping to watch them shatter like cheap plates because I hear that helps you cope. But here I stand, bundled in wool in the hopes of storks that drop off children and pray for the best. I have no sense of direction. I don't know whether this is the north or the south. The healer inside of me wants to help this beast of a continent. But everything else inside of me knows I must help myself first because I've never been able to. How do you admit that?